Hi, um, so this is now P2, also in the core uh, science for OCR Gateway, uh, but it's physics P2, question 6 on this specimen paper. Electricity is generated in power stations, there's a picture of a power station. In a conventional power stations, fuels are burned to release energy which is used to make steam. So we've got that far, we've got the steam. Describe how an AC generator uses this steam to generate electricity. Really, I think this is another case where you're just going to need to learn a kind of description of how an AC generator works. Unless you do the triple science physics, the separate physics, then you're never going to need to know more than just a kind of definition of how it works. So have a little look if you don't know. Um, have a little look back in a textbook or at your revision guide and have a little go at this question and then come back and I'll, we'll see how well you did. Okay, so let's have a look. It's a free mark question, it's a free mark question, and you just need to describe how an AC generator works basically from the point we've got the steam. How does it work? Well, the steam turns the turbine, that's your first point. I hope you all got that. A turbine is a giant fan, it works backwards, so the steam turns the turbine. Um, the, this turbine is attached to the generator and the generator is made of a coil so the turbine turns a coil a coil of wire it is and the, the coil of wire is inside a magnetic field so the turbine turns a coil inside a magnetic field field. It's basically magnets surrounding a big coil of wire which turns. And that rotation, that turning, induces a current. And you don't need to state this, but it is an alternating current as you can see there. Okay, so really just learn those, that definition of that is how a AC generator works. The next section then. Um, we're talking about nuclear power stations, makes useful electrical energy. So you know this output here is electrical energy, but it also wastes energy. Look at the diagram. So we've got the energy supplied, got some energy wasted through the cooling towers, we've got 50,000 joules lost by other methods, and we've got useful electrical output. The power station has an efficiency of 0.3 or 35%. Calculate the wasted energy through the cooling towers. So we need to calculate this section here. Okay, now it's not quite a Sankey diagram, this is it, but it's the same idea in that the widths of these arrows are relevant to the size of the, of the amounts of energy that each one is implying. So you need to calculate this missing value here. Okay. Uh, and you have this data here. Think about what you can do with that data to help you calculate the output here. Okay, have a little go and then come back. So I hope you've had a go at that. Basically, this million joules here is transferred into each of these three different types. We know 50,000 of them have gone to other methods. We don't know how much is useful and we don't know how much is wasted through the cooling towers yet. And that's what we need to arrive at our final answer. So the first step is actually to calculate the useful. And we do that using our efficiency. So if it's an efficiency of 0.35 or 35%, it means that 0.35 of this or 35% 30, of this is the useful. So to calculate the number here we can do 1 million times 0 0.35 and that will give us our useful electrical output we'll just do that in the calculator being careful one and then six zeros times 0 0.35 equals 350,350,000 joules now 
that's not our answer though, is it? We're asked the energy wasted through the cooling towers. So we need to work this out. Well, we've so far we've got a million being transferred to 350,000 and 50,000. So these two together are 400,000 joules. So what's left over to be wasted is 600,000 joules. Just check what the right number is here. 600,000 joules. And that's your answer. You get one mark for calculating that correct part and one mark for working out that part there. Okay, let's move on to part C. Again, part C is a data handling question. Look at the table here. It gives information about the efficiency of different power stations. Um, it's kind of like a bar chart, really. The bars, the longer the bar, the more efficient it is. So different types of power station. Eric is told the nuclear power station is 35% efficient. He uses the table and concludes the hydroelectric power station must be 100% efficient. So with the nuclear is 35, and he says the hydroelectric power station is 100. Explain whether the information supports this conclusion. Well, aside from the fact that hopefully you all know that nothing in the world could ever be 100% efficient, so it can't really support that conclusion, uh, have a little go at thinking, well, how could you explain how this does or does not support that conclusion? Um, I'll just leave it on this screen. It's a two mark question. Have a little go at writing two clear points that explains why that is. Okay, welcome back. Well, it's because if this was 35% that long, well, this bar here, the hydroelectric, is only about twice that, isn't it? It's a little bit more than twice that. So this bar might represent approximately 70% or 75% maybe. Well, we can make it one sentence to say that, that the hydroelectric bar is only roughly double the nuclear bar, so it's only going to be around 70, 75%. You could also say your second point, well, you know, there is no scale to this, is there? It's not like a bar chart where you would have a scale of numbers down on the bottom so that you could clearly see how many percent is 0, 10%, 40, 20, sorry, 20%, 30, 40 and so on so that you would know exactly what it is. So your first point is that relative to each other this is only about two times this one. And your second point is well there's no scale for him to actually know it's 100% efficient. Okay, let's move on.